No, this is not a secret. Okay. I've got a choke that I invented that's based on the lowly foot cell, the meager time going into the crappy old boot. So you know how sometimes I'm kind of cool. Now let me show you how to make a choke that's already back. Come on. It's already back. <laughs> now everybody already knows that foot cell on my bicep and foot cell on the back of his head makes for a good choke. Everybody knows that already, right, right? But instead, what I can do is, maybe you sit there on this side. I'll put my hand, it'll go from foot to time to woo. Tap. Did you feel that? It's nice. Sucks, doesn't it? <laughs> so what I, what I did was I went foot cell on the back of his head, then I slipped down to time, like the form, and then I push with woo. Same foot, time, woo from the form. So you, you put your hand behind their head. Does everybody know how to do that? Watch it, please, three. So you know how to do that choke. So you just slide down and turn your hand over. Instead of the standard, just this, that everybody does, you just let your hand slide down, turn it over to time, and kind of push forward and then push to woo and push his head and basically you're jamming his head into that V, which is crushing the, the two carotid arteries. I've got a question, Randy, if I could. Yeah. Well, obviously that, that Python choke that you're talking about, um, we're not allowed to use it at work. No? Yeah, obviously. No, no. They don't like you doing any sorts of chokes at all. But I, I remember the... <laughs> we, we, well, just not where there's cameras, right? right? Anyway, the first time I learned that from you, you were talking about the amount of time you've got between air and blood. Yeah. Can you just tell me how long that is again so yeah. I don't kill anyone? Right. Well, <laughs> again, <laughs> we'll do it on Rachel so that everybody can see. Now, there's, there, there's two kinds of, okay, we, we've kind of wrongly referred to all these things as chokes. Because the, the true definition of choke is only when you can't breathe, when you cut off someone's air. Strangulation is what we're really doing, which is when you cut off blood. Right. And when you, you can do both at the same time. That's what my chokes are. So chokes, air chokes and blood chokes, and then there's both air and blood chokes. So an air choke is when you cut off their air only. When you cut off someone's air only, they have an average of, the average person can probably go without air for at least a minute, and they, and they won't pass out. He has about a minute to figure out how to get out before he'll start to pass out. Mm -hmm. So you have about a minute, and some people can go longer. You know, it's like you go in the swimming pool. You know, how long can you stay underwater? So you have, with, if it's just air that you get, then you get somebody by air that they can last a long time before and figure out how to get loose. Now, that's when you cut off the air. There's also these two carotid arteries right here on both sides of the neck, and if you cut those off, that's called strangulation. Strangulation is when you cut blood only. Now, strangulation, a person can usually last something like 30 seconds before they go out, if you strangle them. So, and, and sometimes, like Sam will tell you, he does prosecutions for murder, and they'll sometimes they'll go, you know how long it takes a person to die when you choke, you know, and then they'll sit there and go, Let, let's just let the clock run for a minute, and then they'll go. So, do you think the killer had time to change his mind? And everybody's like, wow, it's a long time. It's because it does take a long time for a person to, to die, and I'm just talking about passing out. Mm -hmm. How pass. long after they pass out are you about in real trouble? 30 seconds. Like 30 seconds of then brain damage. Yep, and then death. And then death, okay. So you have like a minute, you could choke them, before, 30 before they go out, and a minute before they could possibly die. Some people could last longer, but you don't want to take chances. Mm -hmm. But when you do air and blood, it's more like 10 seconds tops. Most people are helpless after like a moment. Okay. Gowan is a person who's been doing lots of ground fighting and stuff, and he's used to getting choked all the time. Let's see how long Gowan. <laughs> let's see how long Gowan can take. Sorry, Gowan. Now, well, when I do a choke, I always make sure that the chin lines up with my elbow. That way, I'm I'm getting the air stopped. I'm getting the blood on both sides stopped, and not, and I'm, so I'm, now I'm cutting off air and blood. So if we cut off young Gowan's air and blood. Let's see how long he can take it. He's going to tap. And, you know, I wouldn't normally recommend this, but he's very young and fit and conditioned. 
So we're gonna see how long he could possibly stand it from the time I put the choke on. Ready? Go. Oh, and that wasn't even my super duper pooper choke. Right? And that was sorry, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, you see, that wasn't even my super duper pooper choke. That was only a, that was just a standard Wing Chun choke. So what I did there was fuck sound, fuck sound. But if I slip down to the ton and push forward, it's much more brutal. That's what I'm gonna teach you guys to do today. Does that answer your question, Omar? Thank you very much. That's great. So let's try.